Howie Muscles video where he talks about how he almost died. This is my response video and I'm driving through the beautiful fields of North Carolina with the RV, getting things done and seeing America and just on my way. And I wanna to respond to this video because this is incredible video this guy put out. As everyone knows, Cowie Muscle is 46 year old man. He just suffered a massive heart attack with a 100% blocked left main coronary artery, guys. This is very serious stuff. He's lucky to be alive. And obviously he's home and he's looking great and feeling great and he didn't have too much um, downtime because <laughs> if any downtime because his brain is perfused and he's still his, uh, his old self, uh, witty and sharp and just a uh, comical guy, but he's humble now. He's putting on a life vest, guys. You don't see that after standard stenting procedures, even bypass surgery. They only put that life vest on. It's really a defibrillating uh, device, and he may actually have to have a implantable defibrillator in. And they do that, guys, for severe scenarios in which someone can suffer sudden cardiac death. That's a cardiac arrest subsequent to the initial event that he already had, which was a huge left main artery occlusion with a heart attack, acute coronary syndrome, and they kept it wide open. Uh, and shout out to the EMT guys, shout out to all the nurses and doctors and all the helpers in the ER, and shout out to the interventional cardiology team and the cath lab. Uh, nurse Wendy, shout out to her. She's an interventional cardiology nurse. And I met her in the hospital myself many years ago when I thought I was actually having a heart attack. And thank God everything turned out to be okay. So this video and this guy, uh, the whole scenario is my wheelhouse, guys, because many years ago when I did steroids, I felt that I was a hypochondriac with the heart. And I always thought that I was going to have a heart attack. I, it's just a weird thing. I think people have this. And I had risk factors and some were not that great. And he talks about the risk factors. So let's get right into it, guys, for you guys. Hey guys, quick pause here. If you're watching this video, odds are you're concerned about your testosterone levels. That's where the sponsor of this video comes in. Let's get checked.com. Let's get checked makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without having to visit a healthcare provider. Choose your test online, like one of their testosterone panels, and it will be delivered to you in discreet packaging with next day delivery. Once your sample arrives in a laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. See my link in the description for more details and discount code. Let's get right into it, guys, for you guys, because it's incredible, and I don't know what's going to happen to him. Hopefully, he recovers. He's going to have to slim down. He talks about coming clean about the steroids. Shout out to you, Cali Muscle. You're coming clean because, you know, a lot of guys that are promotional guys and uh, actors and all these things, they don't want to talk about the videos it certainly makes great natty or not videos but he comes out and talks about how the steroids have uh potentially led to where he is today guys he's also giving direction i support his direction he's obviously not a physician i am so let's focus on the abcs a is going to be hemoglobin a1c impaired fasting glucose state and um the glucose and the diabetes and pre-diabetes. He didn't have that. Most bodybuilders and steroid users are not gonna have that. The next ones they will. B is blood pressure. He talks about blood pressure, ankle edema, even some kidney issues that he may or may not have had in his life. He talks about he didn't, he didn't take his blood pressure seriously enough. Next is gonna be C. That's the cholesterol. He talks about that he had warnings with his cholesterol throughout his life and he didn't take that seriously. So guys, I really want you to, to focus on this. I want you, if you're on steroids, to get off steroids and transition to TRT if you can. Pro bodybuilders, look how risky it is with Sean Roden and all these other guys that are certainly dying. We're not gonna go into, did COVID make it unstable? Is it COVID? Is it some other thing going on? 
Guys, if you do steroids and you have any coronary artery disease risks at all, it's going to accelerate it potentially. When you're young, in your 20s, with or without steroids, focus on your health. I'm here to help you with that. That's why it came from, for me, in the beginning, why I love this, and it's my wheelhouse. ABCs, you want to work on, especially the blood pressure. There are medicines out there that are effective and cheap. You could really do the stuff yourself with my help with the app with all my videos you can do it yourself and you want to seek that out and micromanage your own health keep blood pressure perfect with or without steroid use if you're on trt even even not trt you want to take care of this stuff and keep it very 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 sensible and you want to be well managed preventively from the beginning coronary artery calcium scores guys classically related to the cholesterol but it's a multifactorial thing you can get these in your 30s if you have family history that's your dad if he had a heart attack or in your family if there's early heart disease you want to put all these things together watch the sean rodin video i run through a b c and d is dad family history and deposition disease if you're on androgens it's going to affect the red blood cells some men many men have too much iron deposition i call it deposition disease guys if you put this together with or without steroids with or without testosterone i promise you you could micromanage you could look inside your heart early and you could keep all these variables perfect guys and I'm standing in this field right now. I'm 57. I feel great, guys. I got off steroids a long time ago. Yeah, I was shut down, so I've been on TRT, played with stuff on and off, and now I'm just straight TRT guy. 57, guys. I do this for fun for you guys. It's fun. I feel great. I'm transitioning myself, kind of like this guy, Cali Muscle, to places in life where things are sustainable and you haven't had disability and you haven't certainly died and people can love you and you could love your family and your children I, i'm so sad for sean rodin's daughter it's it's it, it's a, it's a ghost it's 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 a devil echoes in my head how sad it is that there's this little girl who doesn't have the dad around he was so good to her it's so sad guys fucking do this a, B, C, and D. You can do this. Forget all the fucking gurus. And take care of your health, guys, if you're on steroids. There's no rocket science going on. Don't do steroids if you're young and you're thinking about it and you're doing your research. I'm sorry to get pissed off, but I see it, the side effects, every day as the Anavok doc. And I wish I could roll back time for so many men, even myself, what I've, what if I have done steroids and have to be on TRT and now have to micromanage so much? It's a crystal ball, guys. I don't like crystal balls, but take charge of this stuff yourself, for yourself and for your families, and you can feel great and you can just keep rocking and rolling. Shout out to Cali Muscle for coming clean, and God bless you, sir. And I hope you uh, really do well and uh, everything's tightened up for you and your heart stabilizes and all your other organ function. And I can see you're super humble now. And that's awesome, man. So let's keep rocking on, guys. You want to get out in the environment and enjoy beautiful days like this. Rock on.